It's almost time for the devotional. She joke. Duty calls. Oh, all right, we made it. We made it. All right, cool. All right, first things first. I do this every single day. I just like to put. I just like to put a bowl over my light. Okay. Every day. Just like the. Oh yeah. And you know that's what you're supposed to do, right? You're supposed to put a bowl over and light. You're supposed to cover it up. Yep. That's what we're gonna learn about, actually. I mean, I think that's what we wait. Actually, I'm not. Ooh, it's kind of hot. I think. I think what we're actually. Let me read it. Let's figure out what I'm supposed to do. Maybe I've been doing this wrong this whole time. All right. Well, today we're actually learning about how you are the light, right? You are the light. We're gonna talk about what that means, and maybe I'm gonna figure out why I've been putting a bowl over my light. All right. So we're gonna hop into the book, the Bible. Um, we're gonna hop into. Matthew chapter 5 verse 14 verse 16 all right so let's read that together it says this you are the so oh wrong verse you are the light of the world a town built on a hill cannot be hidden neither do people lay a lamp and put it under a bowl ah dang it been doing that wrong instead they put it on its stand and it goes and it gives light to everyone in the house in the same way, let your light shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. Oh! All right, now I know what this means. So I guess I wasn't supposed to put the light over the bowl. I'm supposed to make sure the light can be seen by everyone else. Makes sense, because it's fire, and everyone loves fire. All right, so, what does this mean? What does this mean that we are the light? And why are we supposed to be the light? I think that's what um, I think that's what Jesus was really talking about. Why are we supposed to be the light? And I think what he says is that when people see our light, when people see our good deeds, when people see our faith and our love for God, what they actually then are able to do is glorify God. They're actually able to know about God because we live for God. And so when we show people how we live for God, and when we show people um, all the, all about our faith, they're able then to know about God too and glorify Him. So, then I think this question needs to get asked. What does it mean to be a light? What does it mean that you are a light? Does that mean that I'm not supposed to put a bowl over my head? Or does that mean that, that, does that, mean that I'm not supposed to, to, to just take the bowl off my head and now I'm a light? No. Right? To be a light means to make your faith visible. It means to talk about God. It means to live for God. Some might say it means to live love. To live God's love every single day because God loves you. Right? And so what we're doing when we're a light is making our faith visible. It means that we now are able to tell other people about God. We are now able to live for God because we have Him in our own hearts. And then I was thinking this. How do we be the light? How do we do it? Right? How do, how do I shoot light beams out of my eyeballs? No, I guess that's not what we're doing. How do, how do I do this? And I think what we see is, in the passage, is he talks about, right before this, Jesus, Jesus talks about, before being a light, he talks about the Beatitudes. And he said, blessed are the meek. He says, blessed are those who love righteousness. Blessed are those who are merciful. And he goes through all these different things and he explains who the blessed people are. And I think what Jesus is saying is that when we are the light, we're the blessed people. We're the ones who live God's faith out. We're the ones who live out all that God has for us, right? And so when we're the light, it means that we live our faith out. It means that we are showing people God's love every single day. Maybe by doing something simple like, like uh, maybe like helping someone with their groceries or maybe, maybe helping our parents with dishes or, or maybe being kind to our brother or sister. But we're doing it because we love God, right? And then I think too, what it means to be the light is to tell people about God, right? And so I think those are the two different things is, is living for Jesus every single day, doing good things. And also what it means is it means telling people about Jesus. And so let's hop into another passage and let's ask the question, where else in the Bible do we see someone being the light? All right, I think we see it in 1 John chapter 1. It says this. 
All right, so it says this. The next day, John was there again with two of his disciples. When he saw Jesus passing by, he said, Look at the Lamb of God. When they, two of the disciples heard him say this, they followed Jesus. Turning around, Jesus saw them following and asked, What do you want? They said, Rabbi, which means teacher, where are you staying? Come, he replied, and you will see. So they went and saw where he was staying, and they spent the day with him. It was about four in the afternoon. And then Andrew, Simon Peter's brother, was one of the two who heard what John had said and who had followed Jesus. The first thing Andrew did was find his brother Simon and tell him, We have found the Messiah. That is the Christ, and he brought him to Jesus. And so what's so cool is this, is that John the Baptist tells, he's telling all these different people, Jesus is the Lamb of God. He's the one who came to die for everyone's sin, to save everyone. But then he says, but then Andrew gets saved, and he says, wow, this is him. This is the Messiah. And the first thing he does is he goes and he tells his brother Simon, right? And so when when Andrew found Jesus, when he found the, the love, when he found the Savior, what he did was he went and he told his brother so that his brother could also know, right? And so he was a light. So guys, you guys can be a light. To all the people around you, every single where you, everywhere you go, you can be a light. You can tell people about Jesus, and when you live for him, they will know. They will know that you serve him and that he's the true God, and they will glorify him. So guys, um, you are a light, right? So go ahead and put a bowl on your head. Oh, no, sorry. Don't put a bowl on your head, right? Take the bowl off your head, meaning this. Make sure that people know that you love God and make sure they know that they can too, all right? See you guys. Thank you.